All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my weekly video predictions for this week's upcoming episode of The Walking Dead Season 4. This week we're gonna be seeing The Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 15, which is called U.S. All right, good stuff, or at least I think it's U.S. because it could just be us. I'm not sure, but it's capitalized, so I'm thinking U.S. in the last episode is called A. So that could possibly mean the end of the season. Maybe the characters will head towards Washington, D.C. like they do in the comic book series, but I guess we'll kind of have to see uh, how that all goes down. The uh, description for us, or U.S., reads, Survivors rely on brutality and faith. I'll put the links to all of the promos in the description to the promo video, the Sneak Peek 1 and Sneak Peek 2, so you guys can click those links if you want to see them if you haven't seen them uh, yet. So the description, survivors rely on brutality and faith. Well, with regards to the brutality, it almost sounds like um, that's referring to Daryl because it looks like a good portion of this episode is going to be focused on Daryl from the Sneak Peek and the previews, or Sneak Peeks and Preview. Um, promo um, because we see more of him in in the promo than we do of anybody else but we can clearly see uh, three different groups are going to be in this one at the least we see Rick a cut of him anyway uh, we see of course Daryl who's in most of it and then we see Glenn's group so Glenn uh, Tara, Abraham, Eugene, Rosita, them as well. So that's good. It looks, it looks like it's going to be a fun episode because it looks like we're going to get to have, you know, some cutting around and seeing what's happening with the multiple groups at once as all of their paths start to converge seemingly. Now, with regards to the description, the, the brutality and faith, brutality, I'm thinking Daryl and what's happening with him and, and, and sort of the revelation to him as it seems like in Sneak Peek uh, 2 that these guys that are hunting, they're not hunting... Um, you know, uh, rabbits or, or anything like that or deer or anything of the sort. They're hunting people. <laughs> it seems like it looks like these guys are the hunters. It seems like it anyway to me because when you look at it, um, sneak peek number two, uh, Daryl, basically the one guy with the cross or not the crossbow, but an actual uh, regular bow is talking to Daryl and he, he tells him, Daryl's saying something about the sun being up, that type of thing and maybe the time of the day when they're supposed to be hunting is, is wrong or something like that. Like he's, cause Daryl obviously knows how to hunt. He's been hunting for the group for, for years now to survive on, to live on. And he probably hunted even before the zombie apocalypse. I think he did. Uh, at least he knows how to track and all that. So to me, it, it seems like he kind of knows, you know, obviously he knows the strategy of how you have to hunt and him and the guy with the um, regular bow uh, are having some kind of disagreement about, um, what they should be doing at that time because Daryl's kind of figuring out like, hey, like, you know, you guys aren't doing this right, that type of thing. And the guy's like, uh, the rules of the hunt don't mean Jack out here. So it sounds like to me, that's who these guys are. These guys are, are the hunters. So that's kind of cool revelation for us to kind of uh, see, or at least we should figure out this episode once and for all if these guys are the hunters. And I'm most excited to kind of hear if they are, and if Father Gabriel or the person who took Beth, if it is him or if it's another character they've created for the TV series, if they're all a part of one big group at Terminus, possibly, you know, the um, some kind of like railway station or, or underground tunnel or something, you know, wherever they've been staying, it looks like all the, uh, the characters are starting to finally get close to the location. So we're going to see it all go down. So very exciting. So two episodes left, of course, of the season, episode 15 and 16, and we're done until season five. So absolutely, you know, really excited to see where they go with this because last week's episode was focusing, of course, on uh, Mika, Lizzie, Carol, Judith, and Tyrese, who it doesn't seem like are even going to be in this episode. Um, the other group previous to that as well, too, uh, Maggie's group looking for looking for Glenn. They don't. They're not in the preview. I wonder if we're going to see them. But the the uh, description for the finale says that uh, past converge. So it sounds like we're going to see basically everybody, or at least most of the groups, uh, meet up again. And, and hopefully we'll see what's uh, what's what's happening with uh, Beth pretty soon. I mean, <laughs> we still no no sign of her la last week. So hopefully this week we'll see, or maybe it'll be in the finale as we kind of see everything to come together. Um, so yeah, so my favorite out of three is probably Sneak Peek 2, really cool with Daryl and the other guy getting into a disagreement. And at the end, basically after that, the guy tells Daryl, uh, it's got to be a, you know, a, a 
a chick, or he doesn't use that word, but it's got to be a girl that's got you acting the way you're acting, that, that type of thing. Uh, which he, of course, figures out, hits the nail right on the head, and then Daryl's ready to, to, to pull out the, the knife uh, just as it cuts off. So so really exciting preview there. I can't wait to see what happens between the two. You, you know, you get to think, is Daryl going to kill this guy? What's going to happen? Because if he, if he pulls that knife out, you know, is this guy going to... Daryl's really skilled, of course, and he's uh, really tough. So is this guy going to be able to defend himself, or is Daryl going to kill him? I guess we'll see. It looks good, though, either way. I assume that probably all the Hunters will die at the end of the season or maybe early on Season 5 if the, if in the season finale they don't die. I guess we'll have to see how they how they do this season finale this year. Seeing as how Too Far Gone was so big, they may not uh, have you know something like a regular season finale at the end of this season. It may be a cliffhanger type thing. So we'll see how they do it this year. Um, so I love Sneak Peek 2. Sneak Peek 1 is pretty good. You just have Abraham and Tara. They're basically just... Uh, talking while they're on uh, watch duty while the others are sleeping, um, and and of course you, it's pretty funny the dialogue between the two. Abraham is kind of like uh, trying to figure her out. He's kind of trying to say like, why are you with this guy if he's trying to go find his wife and what's the deal? You know what's what's this girl about? I can't figure her out. Uh, then he kind of mentions afterwards that uh, that he caught her sneaking a peek. <laughs> Rosita. So that was pretty funny uh, that he talks about how Eugene does it all the time. So that one's a really funny sneak peek as well too. Some good comedy there. I like that. And um, also because you're thinking, is Tara going to just tell him, hey, you got the wrong idea. I'm not interested. So that's that's fun. And um, let's see. She hasn't slept in days. And what else? Oh, right. Abraham refers to Eugene as like he's this, this super important type person because Eugene's got him so you know, so figured out and everything that he's manipulating him to that point where if it came down to either Eugene or Rosita, you almost think Abraham would, would, would protect Eugene, <laughs> which is, which is strange, but it's, you know, it's, it's possible. So anyway, I like that one as well. And then the promo. So there's a lot of little clips in the promo, as always. There's a lot of really fast little things happening. Like I said, we can see Rick, Daryl, and Glenn, so we know all three of those groups are involved. It looks like a lot of it's going to be dealing with uh, Daryl as uh, we hear Joe with a nice voiceover for it. And he said, when men like us follow rules, the world becomes ours. And Daryl's like, there ain't no rules anymore. Um, well, maybe there isn't, but maybe this guy has developed some rules for the hunters to, to go by. You know, like this claiming thing. Everything they're claiming, like they're fighting over stuff. It's claimed or whatever the case may be. Um, kind of weird. So, so that's good stuff. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to see what's going to happen with, uh, with Daryl, man. Uh, and, and, and how he's going to you know fit into this new group. Is he going to have to stay with these guys? Are we going to see the beginning or, or sort of like, is it going to be one where all the groups sort of get in position for the finale and then in the finale we see them actually meet at Terminus and maybe Daryl and that group of hunters is there. Maybe Beth's there, I guess. Well, <laughs> maybe it's like this epicenter for all these things to just come down to the finale. It's just, you know, really awesome stuff. So, um in terms of this one, you know, it's the second last episode of the season, episode 15. So I'm not thinking it's going to be like the most exciting, you know, like crazy episode ever. I, I don't think it's going to be the same as like, for example, last year we had uh, the Merle episode, right? Was that the second last episode right at the end there? I don't remember exactly, but if you guys, you guys remember what I mean, how they have like, and they did it in season two also, they had the, the Dale episode and then, you know, they kind of... Uh, the big finale with uh, with everything that happens, you know. Uh, after well, they had da well, they did Dale, Shane, and then the big big finale. So this one for me, it seems like in terms of predictions, I think what they're going to do is they're going to build everything up together. We might not see any big character deaths this week coming up. I don't think we will probably because they're trying to get everything, all the pieces in in order to see this maybe big battle play out and possibly uh, a big character death in uh, this season's finale, at least one. Um, thinking Beth, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. Since since she's the most likely, they may you know throw some kind of spin on it and have it be someone else instead. So really excited for all the stuff with Daryl. Looks good that we're gonna see Glenn's group again because I think that's a lot of fun. And it'll be interesting to see going forward what happens with Tara. If she's killed off in the uh, the finale this year, I think that would make sense because after she sort of fulfills her role, if Glenn and Maggie do meet, right, then 
if the two of them are to are to sort of meet up again, what is her purpose going to be, or what is she going to uh, what is she going to do? And also, will Maggie be pissed if she sees Glenn with her? <laughs> you know, have to do, have some explaining to do. You know, uh, similar to the Abraham type uh, situation. So anyway, it looks like it's going to be a great episode. I got high hopes for this one and high hopes for the finale that they don't let us down and that they they do pull off some kind of big, huge. Uh, battle at the end with the hunters and the others and we can kind of see what uh what what happens or 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 something of the sort so uh yeah that's pretty much um all i have to say for this week's predictions let me hear what you guys think what you think uh, we're gonna see and um you know pm me if you have any video discussion topics about the only one i can think of at the moment is uh, to do a video giving my thoughts on lizzie uh after we saw what she did in last week's uh last week's episode so yeah um pretty much it so i'll call it here that's it for this video guys i'll see you for the next one this is trev saying peace